Google has just launched Gemini 1.0, an AI model that they claim can surpass OpenAI's GPT-4. Let's dive deep into what Gemini brings to the table, how it compares to GPT-4, and what potential implications it might have for the future of AI. Without further ado, let's jump right to it. Overview of Gemini Google's Gemini represents a groundbreaking leap in the evolution of artificial intelligence, strategically positioned to challenge OpenAI's formidable GPT-4. The cornerstone of this innovative endeavor lies in Gemini's remarkable performance across 30 out of 32 widely recognized academic benchmarks, establishing a new standard in the realm of large language model LLM, research and development. This not only underscores Google's commitment to pushing the boundaries of AI, but also positions Gemini as a frontrunner in the race for supremacy in this rapidly advanced field. The Gemini family, comprising three distinct sizes, Ultra, Pro, and Nano, reflects a meticulous approach to catering to diverse tasks and computational demands. Each variant is meticulously crafted to offer unparalleled performance, ensuring adaptability to a spectrum of applications and environments. This tiered structure allows Gemini to seamlessly integrate into different computing ecosystems, ranging from the robust capabilities demanded by data center hardware to the efficiency required for on-device tasks in devices like Google's Pixel 8 Pro smartphone. In alignment with the multimodal capabilities of GPT-4, Gemini stands as a versatile AI model capable of processing an array of inputs, including text, code, images, and audio. Google envisions Gemini as a solution to real-world problems across a myriad of domains, emphasizing its potential to deliver precise and insightful solutions. This aspiration is manifest in the mid-level Gemini model, currently deployed in over 170 countries as part of the Google Bard chatbot, an embodiment of Google's commitment to making advanced AI accessible on a global scale. Also, the integration of Gemini into Google Bard serves as a testament to its immediate practical application. Users can experience the enhanced capabilities of Gemini through the chatbot, marking the first step in Google's mission to seamlessly incorporate advanced AI into everyday interactions. Moreover, with plans for further expansion into additional tasks, languages, and applications, Google is poised to redefine the landscape of AI accessibility and utility. Gemini's capabilities. Google's Gemini stands out not just for its size variations, but more importantly, for its exceptional capabilities that herald a new era in artificial intelligence. According to Google, Gemini boasts sophisticated, multimodal reasoning capabilities, empowering it to decipher intricate information presented in both written and visual forms. This proficiency allows Gemini to navigate through complex data sets, making it a potent tool for extracting valuable insights across diverse domains. One of Gemini's standout features is its ability to glean meaningful information from extensive documents. This means that Gemini can sift through vast amounts of textual and visual data, providing a level of comprehension that extends beyond simple pattern recognition. As a result, Google envisions Gemini as a catalyst for breakthroughs in various fields. From advancing scientific research to revolutionizing financial analyses, the adaptability of Gemini to different computational environments is a testament to its versatility. With three distinct sizes, Gemini caters to a spectrum of computing needs. The ultra variant designed for highly complex tasks, finds its home in data center hardware, where computational power is abundant. On the other hand, the Nano variant, optimized for on-device tasks, ensures efficiency in consumer devices like Google's Pixel 8 Pro smartphone. This adaptability positions Gemini as a flexible solution capable of meeting the demands of various applications and industries. Sundar Pichai, Google's CEO, has expressed genuine excitement about Gemini, highlighting the considerable scientific and engineering efforts invested in its development. This enthusiasm reflects Google's commitment to pushing the boundaries of what AI can achieve. The integration of Gemini into key Google products, such as Search, Ads, Chrome, and Duet AI, underscores the company's strategic approach to making this advanced technology widely accessible to users across the globe. By embedding Gemini into these core products, Google aims to seamlessly integrate AI into the daily lives of users. This integration extends beyond mere applications, indicating a vision where AI becomes an integral part of the user experience across various digital platforms. Google's commitment to widespread accessibility suggests a belief in the transformative potential of Gemini and its ability to enhance not only individual interactions, but also the efficiency and functionality of core Google services, Gemini versus GPT-4. In the ongoing quest for AI supremacy, Google positions Gemini as a formidable competitor, directly challenging the dominance of OpenAI's GPT-4. Google's claim is bold. Gemini outperforms GPT-4 in the majority of academic benchmarks setting the stage for a potential shift in the landscape of large language models. 
LLMs. The spotlight falls particularly on Gemini Ultra, a variant that not only competes with GPT-4 but surpasses it on several critical measures, notably achieving a groundbreaking score of 90% on the massive multitask language understanding MMLU, benchmark, a feat that even outpaces human experts. While Google's assertions about Gemini's superiority seem compelling, there is a layer of skepticism that pervades the discussion. MIT Technology Review raises valid questions about the significance of these benchmark results. The publication acknowledges Gemini's prowess in various areas, but it questions whether Gemini truly brings entirely novel capabilities to the AI landscape. The thin margins between Gemini and GPT-4, as revealed in these benchmarks, prompt a crucial inquiry into the practical implications of these achievements in real-world applications. In Google's promotional materials, a chart showcasing eight machine learning benchmarks positions Gemini Ultra as the front-runner in the majority of metrics, including Python coding, reading comprehension, multi-step reasoning, common sense reasoning, basic arithmetic, and general knowledge across 57 subjects. The notable exception is the Hella Swag benchmark, where GPT-4 retains a marginal lead. However, the razor-thin differences in scores across other benchmarks invite scrutiny. It raises the pertinent question, does Gemini's marginally superior performance truly translate into tangible benefits in scenarios where these AI models are applied to solve real-world problems? AI benchmarks, while valuable in assessing a model's capabilities, often face criticism for not fully reflecting the complexities of real-world applications. MIT Technology Review's reservations echo broader concerns within the AI community regarding the practical utility and generalization of models based solely on benchmark performance. In essence, the question lingers. Do these incremental advancements in benchmark scores equate to meaningful advancements in AI's real-world efficacy? The benchmarks focus on measures such as reading comprehension, coding proficiency, and general knowledge may not fully encapsulate the breadth and depth of challenges that AI models models encounter in practical scenarios. The efficacy of an AI model in providing meaningful, contextually relevant responses to diverse and unpredictable user queries remains a critical benchmark that is often nuanced and challenging to quantify. Rollout and integration. Google plans a phased rollout for Gemini, starting with the mid-level Gemini Pro available in Google Bard. Gemini Nano, designed for on-device tasks, will be integrated into the Pixel 8 Pro smartphone. Developers and enterprise customers can access Gemini Pro through the Gemini API, with Android developers gaining access to Gemini Nano via AI Core in Android 14. Looking ahead, Google has reserved the experimental phase for Gemini Ultra. This highest tier variant will be available for early experimentation and feedback from select customers, developers, partners, and experts in safety and responsibility. This cautious approach indicates a commitment to refining and fine-tuning Gemini Ultra based on real-world usage and feedback before a broader rollout planned for the next year. Anticipating the need for cutting-edge AI experiences, Google has set its sights on the launch of Bard Advanced. This offering, built on the capabilities of Gemini Ultra, promises users access to the pinnacle of AI advancements. The launch of Bard Advanced signals Google's intention to provide users with an immersive and sophisticated AI experience that goes beyond conventional applications, setting the stage for the next level of AI integration in user interactions. Google's Gemini 1.0 presents a formidable contender in the ongoing battle for AI supremacy, challenging the dominance of OpenAI's GPT-4. While the benchmark results suggest impressive capabilities, the practical impact on real-world applications remains to be seen. The integration of Gemini into various Google products and the upcoming launch of Bard Advanced indicate that Google is gearing up for a new era in AI. As the competition between Google and OpenAI intensifies, we can expect exciting developments and innovations that will shape the future of artificial intelligence. That's all for today. Stay tuned for further updates, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more content on the latest in AI and technology. Thanks for watching.